Hello everybody, my name is Daniel and as a director of a small media ministry at a church I found that there's a problem with using prosumer equipment uh, such as a simple thing as a tally light is very critical if you're using multiple cameras and uh, the lack uh, of it is problematic so we came up with a solution here we're using the ATEM1 uh, switcher that many of you are aware of and maybe are using it in your venues. Um, what we have come up with is a wireless tally light solution uh, that is open source. Um, most of this uh, information you could find out on the website by an engineer named uh, Skaroy. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. Uh, he has developed all the libraries necessary to create a physical switcher to interface with the ATEM environment. Uh, what we have done, we used his library and created the transmitter here that is, utilizes the Arduino Ethernet module with a wireless component that we custom built. It's all open source, there's nothing proprietary about this. Um, the uniqueness about uh, this particular simple gadget here is that it has a web interface you could easily log in change the IP address of this device and then just point it to your ATEM and it works if it happens that you forget the IP uh, of this transmitter we have a convenient reset uh, button underneath this uh, hole here which you just uh, tap and you're back to the default IP address let me show you how uh, this all works. We have the other portion of this which is the receiver. Uh, the receiver is composed of uh, three lights, three LED lights and rechargeable lipo battery that is uh, powering this uh, device. It's, we're using a U, um, mini USB connector here to recharge the lipo battery and it seems to last for a number of hours as it is a sufficiently large a lithium polymer battery. Uh, the device also has a hot shoe mount and a uh, dip switches on the bottom that allow you to choose one of the 16 channels that uh, is available. Well, one of the unique characteristics is that we're using channel zero to um, monitor the signal quality of, of our transmitter. So basically you could uh, set it to channel zero here in the dip switches, turn it on, and the device should start blinking each time there's a packet in the air. Uh, where we could easily um, switch the channels, and as we turn the device on, the number of blinks will indicate the current channel selected. So currently, this receiver is on the channel three. So if we go to our ATEM and we preview camera three, we should see a green light. And if uh, this particular camera 3 goes live, then we should see the light go red. Back to green, back to red. And I would say that the response is quite fast. So you could visit our website, check it out. It's an open source project and we have these kits available for sale. If you don't feel like you're capable of actually building this device from scratch. It took us um, a while to figure out how all this works as this is not something that we do for a living. This is a maker project more or less. A first time uh, at a lot of things including PCB board uh, making, case design and so forth. But we are fairly proud of what we have designed and the fact that it serves our purpose and uh, and does exactly what we want in a prosumer environment. 